but for now, the beast. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, new it's new here. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, this is going to be something new. And it's going to be a very difficult thing. I'm going to try and walk you guys through what I know so far about lake trout. Uh, for instance, I'm starting in 77 feet of water. Uh, actually, looks like there's bait fish in the bottom, which is not good because when there's lake trout around, there's no bait fish in the bottom. So I'm going to try here for like a half hour, hour. Um, I'm not going to get like a permanent setup going. I'm just going to try and make this as mobile as possible. Uh, I only have a few big baits to try jigging um, and it's way too windy to throw some tip ups out with dead bait um, But I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I can get into some of these guys. Uh, I don't actually do this often uh, I think I've only done this a couple times So I'm hoping that I get lucky and you guys get to join me when I get lucky. So stay tuned Okay Today I'm going to basically just be running a really heavy setup. Um, I have like 30 feet of 12 pound P-line on here. And then uh, basically just a snap, quick snap. And then it's a line to line knot that I tied a while ago. So hopefully, hopefully that works. And then I rigged up some tubes last night so just a simple I think that's a Kalen's grub tube or Kalen's tube and then I have I just have this stinger hook uh, basically it'll float around with them but I know Lakers like to just swing at things oh there actually might be one on the bottom here uh, I gotta stop talking so much and try and get down there but yeah, it's a pretty simple setup. It takes a while to get down to the bottom of that. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I haven't actually used this setup at all this season. I just got it set up at the beginning of the season um, so that I could give this a try. So we'll see how this does. I got this is 40 pound braid, so I can kind of muscle them a little bit, but that leader is only 12 pound test. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. And then we'll see if we have to turn the heater on in order to keep this stuff from freezing up. Oh, that might be a Laker. moving like one Jason like one gone 
All right, uh, first spot didn't pan out. Second spot, hopefully I drill a fish. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I drill a fish. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that in there because that's the truth. I wanna just rail on at least one big trout today. It'd be so nice if I got one. Uh, if I get a bunch of them, cool. Started snowing again, wasn't supposed to snow, but apparently it's snowing. It's still cold, but nice thing is, is running around out here, hopefully I'll pop a hole on one of these guys and you guys will see some action. I know I want to, so stay tuned. All right, guys. Uh, I don't know what hole I'm on right now, but I'm going to be straightforward with you guys. I've seen one trout today. Uh, I know it was a trout because it was a big mark, and the thing moved like a rocket up and down on my uh, fish finder. It was chasing my tube. Uh, I don't think it ever even took a swipe at it, though, because it went up and down a couple different times. And then the last time it went down, it just kind of disappeared. Uh that's the only thing I've seen, and it's been a while. Uh, that's that's a big problem right now because I'm trying to decide if I want to try and struggle this out for you guys, or um, I don't know. It's it's one of those things like I could sit here and drill holes on all of the structure I know where trout should be, and they could just be in a different area right now because trout don't play by rules really um you can get them from 80 or 100 feet of water all the way up into like 30 feet of water um and sometimes you'll see them in 10 15 feet of water uh and they choose when they want to do that they don't necessarily go shallow when it's dark and they don't necessarily go deep when it's light uh so i don't know i'm gonna just throw this one together for you guys i think uh it's another one of those like yeah i went fishing yeah i kind of sucked at finding what i needed to go after but I, this is an honest one. Like if you guys plan on going lake trout fishing, um, I'm in Wisconsin. There's probably only one place in Wisconsin that you might be able to go and like guarantee yourself a fish. And I'm debating on going to that place. You guys comment below if I should try to go fish another big body of water. Um, that's got a high concentration of trout. It doesn't have very many big ones, but I could catch fish. Um, hopefully i don't know it's not a guarantee nothing's guaranteed when it's fishing so comment below like i said if you guys want to see me try and struggle out there um that's a bit further drive from me um i don't know i think i'm gonna i have the stuff to do it i'm gonna go chase some big panfish because that usually makes me feel better and i can usually find something at least one or two good sized panfish uh it's kind of in my blood so Stay tuned for that video. Hopefully that one works out better than this one did. But you guys wanted truthful stuff. So I've skunked out for three or four decent trips here in the last couple weeks. So <sighs> I'm just going to take a deep breath. And I'm going to go try and catch some more fish. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's struggle. Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, would you please consider 